Hey guys, it's Bub here, and this video we're taking a look at Revy OS 11, which we've taken a look at before in this channel, however we've taken a look at it in the form of an ISO. Revy OS 11 doesn't actually offer an ISO anymore, presumably due to something with copyright reasons uh, from Microsoft, so they do offer a playbook, and what this playbook does is it uses AME Wizard to basically perform the tweaks on a clean install of Windows 11 or Windows 10. This playbook supports these two builds of Windows 10 and 22H2 and 23H2 of Windows 11. Of course, we are currently running Windows 11 23H2 with the latest patches and the latest updates, and we have those files right here on our desktop, the AME, the AME Wizard as well as the Revy OS playbook. So let's go ahead and begin by running the AME Wizard and then dragging this playbook into the wizard. I already imported it just to take a look at it, but we're going to overwrite it anyway. And here is our Revy OS revision playbook for Windows 10 and Windows 11. Before we enable this, what I will say about Revy, Revy OS is it's meant to optimize and tweak Windows 11 to be performance based um, for workhorse users, workstation users, and things of that nature. Previously when I took a look at it, both Windows 10 and Windows 11, I really did like it, so I'm very eager to see how the playbook changes things. It's also been about a year since I looked at the Revy OS 11, so let's see what's changed. The next step will require us to disable security, so we have to do that. Um, so we have to open Windows Security, go to Virus and Threat Protection, and then disable all of these. Though that doesn't seem very safe. But there we go. It is done. And now we can close this window and begin the playbook installation. Um, I've actually never used AME Wizard. I've actually never heard of it until this. So, um, so this system meets the requirements for this playbook. So we're going to agree to all of this. And we can set the playbook up manually, but you know, it gives us some options. We're just going to leave all of them by default. Um, and we're going to click next. So right now it, is, it just made our desktop black. Um, and it is going to go ahead and install this playbook for us. All right, and here we are inside of fresh Revy OS 11. It doesn't look too much different from the last time we took a look at it as far as I can remember, but I'm very eager to see some of the tweaks that were made. Um, and some of the ones just fresh off the bat that I notice, we have Brave installed, which was actually an option in the playbook. We had an option to install Brave or Firefox. Um, Brave was the default, um, which I'm not entirely sure I like Brave, um, but it, it was the default, so that's why we left it there. Um, the revision tool, I assume this is what you use to tweak Windows 11. Uh, you could get GitHub, your Windows security, usability, Windows 11 things, Windows updates are paused for some reason, and miscellaneous settings. So not too much in there. Um, taking a look at the taskbar, I can see that our widgets have disappeared. Um, our search bar became a search button. We should be able to change that back though, I hope. If I go to search box, yeah. Our co-pilot button is also missing. Not that, you know, I missed the co-pilot button, but it's also not there. So aside from those minor things, I'm not noticing too much different on the desktop here. In our start menu here, we can see that we're missing a lot of apps. Maybe not missing, but they're not here. We really have the core apps like the store, settings, notepad, paint, file explorer, and calculator. Everything else, all the rest of the bloatware is no longer in pinned. Taking a look here at all apps, we can see that we have our accessibility apps, Brave, Calculator, File Explorer, Game Bar, Get Started, Microsoft Store, Notepad, Paint, Phone Link, Revision Tool, Settings, Snipping Tool, Terminal, Windows Backup, Windows Security, Windows Tools, and Xbox. Moving on, let's take a look and see how much RAM this is actually utilizing. What does its system processes look like? So this is a Core i7-10700K. Um, the VM has two cores in it, and we are idling about 15% CPU usage. 8 gigabytes of RAM, we're idling at 1.7 gigabytes of RAM, which isn't too bad. I believe that's actually a little bit less than what regular Windows 11 uses, if I'm not mistaken. I could be totally wrong. And the other thing I want to take a look at is those Windows updates that we know are actually disabled, and we don't even have an option for them here. Are we able to turn those back on through the revision tool? If I uncheck that and reopen settings let's see if windows updates are still here they are and if we resume updates let's see that turns that off and now it can install updates 
The reason why updates are paused is because updates typically have a history to break tweaks like this, so naturally they turn them off. But you do have the option to turn them back on if you would like. So that being said, this is just a brief look over at Revy OS in 2024. Again, it's been a while since I've taken a look at it. Uh, Windows 23H2 has come out, as well as the move to the playbook style of installation. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.